Live Instagram. We're going to be good. Live. Jeff's Wibble's uh, YouTube Live channel. Live on as well. YouTube. So, What's yeah. What's up, YouTube? Been a while since we did a live video, actually. What's up, IG? So we got the two here. I know. Yeah. It's like the old cash flow to go, 530, all that. Sponsored by Starbucks. <laughs> um, Sponsored by We Buy Houses. Because <laughs> We Buy Houses. Oh, well, that was cool, the musically thing you did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been trying to, I've been trying to really focus on experimenting with some new social media stuff. So you guys on Instagram definitely have probably seen it. If you don't know me on Jeff's YouTube channel or you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me, Matt McKeever85, on Instagram. Subscribe. But I've been playing around with Musical.ly. I just downloaded Lomix yesterday. And so really just trying to figure out what's like the new up and coming app. I don't think Lomix is, but I think Lomix could be a great way to create unique content for Instagram or Musical.ly as well. Um, I don't think that program will natively become great, but I think that as the opportunity to edit and be like just another creator like InShot that we use, mm -hmm. also downloaded Video Star, which is another free app where you can like edit kind of better video quality. So Musical.ly is actually a really interesting demographic. It's in the top 100 apps on the app, Apple I store at least. Uh, and yeah, I just think that we want to be on the cutting edge, right? Like, whatever's going to be the next Snapchat or the next Instagram, we'd love to get there early and plant our flag. And for Musical.ly, there's no denying, like, the reach it has right now. You're mm -hmm. telling me there's these very I'm young sure like these creators two brothers that, that had, like, over rubbish. 10 million fans each. And they got, like, the one has, like, half a billion likes. So would you say it's wide open right now, pretty it, much? It, it's not wide open if you want to target the like tween demographic but like as far as like targeting adults i think it's wide open like no one's doing real estate on musically no one's talking about personal finances on musically mind you the platform doesn't allow itself really to long form content at least based on my knowledge but what i really love is it's just another breadcrumb we can leave to bring people over to say youtube or to instagram and I think that long term there's a lot of value there and just being the first, right? Uh, Grant Cardone, Uncle G talks about at one point in time, I think he was number one on uh, Periscope or another one of those platforms that's no longer nearly as popular. And what he talked about, or Meerkat, he was number one on Meerkat, I think. And the thing is, like, when he talked at, uh, when he talked at the 10X event, he was like, who here knows about Meerkat? And a bunch of people had no idea. But it doesn't matter, being number one on there, when that platform shuts down, people are going to have to move to a new platform. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what I really want to focus on. So, and we were talking to someone last night at the social mediation meetup, and she was saying that she didn't really think that, say, Musical.ly fits for her audience and it doesn't necessarily make sense for her business. And the thing I was trying to really iterate was, Instagram maybe didn't used to work for your business. Maybe you're like, I don't take still photos. Right. So Instagram just doesn't make sense. My, I, there's too much information I need to give away. There's too much there's too much value that I need to prove to people and I can't do that with just one still photo and a small description. But we've seen Instagram pivot multiple times now. Instagram, I don't even use it for still photos really anymore. No. And, you're, and you're rewarded more if you do videos. Yeah, and so it's all about like live stories now, but they've also came out with IGTV and so if you'd already built up that audience base with your still photos, you naturally had a competitive advantage before, say, a bunch of YouTubers now all rush to IGTV because mm -hmm. you can now do longer length uh, content and have pre-edited videos uploaded. And so I think that that's what's really important to me is once a platform gets to a certain level of success, we frequently see them pivot into new markets. And so I think that being aware of that, like anything in the top 100, you should probably be paying attention to if you're trying to become a social media influencer. And uh, I think that that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, so. and since you got back from Miami, it's been, you've done a 180 on every, like, you're just like, you're not like yeah. drinking Uncle G's Kool-Aid completely, but you're like, content is king, let's get stuff out, yeah. let's try things. And wasn't wasn't he saying like he was like the best at a certain app, nobody was on Meerkat. it? Meerkat. Meerkat, yeah, and he was the best at it, so. Yeah, and so like the thing is that, you know, no one uses that app anymore, but that doesn't really matter because all those audience members had to go somewhere else since the, they all flooded to Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so it gave him a huge boost on his Insta and his YouTube because they need to consume the content somewhere else. And that's what I think ideas like Musical.ly, maybe right now you think making a 15 second video holding your We Buy Houses sign doesn't make sense because you're not hitting your target demographic. But why not plant the seed early and be number one there? Like right now we could probably be the number one real estate guys on Musical.ly. And 
that's insane that we can right because when other people are getting literally a half a billion likes like that just blows my mind and guys matt came to me he's like you should be on musically and my answer is like okay yes like yeah. that should be your answer to all these platforms and not say well i'm not sure how that's going to work in my niche yeah like, or yes, i don't got time for it and that's fine like at the start just consume a bit of the content right like mm -hmm. just get used to kind of the ebb and flow of what's going on there and you're naturally going to be able to start thinking about how you can insert your uh business or your you're different, whatever you're trying to do as a value proposition to your audience. And so I, you got me set up on it, but yeah. I, okay, by the end of this weekend, I need a video. Yeah, absolutely. And the nice thing is that, again, it's kind of focused on those 15 second clips. Right. So that forks really well over to Snapchat or to Instagram. That 15 second Instagram. Right. So I think that that's the thing that you can, like, for a while, I've kind of given up on Snapchat, and that could be a mistake on my part. But for a while, when we were focusing on Snapchat and Instagram, I was like, you're able to kind of double dip and you can use some of the content from Instagram on Snapchat and vice versa. And I think that that's just something to be hyper aware of. And a few of the people we were talking at the social mediation meetup last night mentioned that like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use Musical.ly natively, but I can at least export its videos. And it's just a great way for me to have more fun on my Instagram. And so if you're not familiar, uh, Musical.ly is really just kind of an app where people are like lip singing or kind of goofing around or there's different hashtags like acting wars and so you maybe take a clip from your favorite comedian and act out what the comedian's talking or pretend that you're the one doing stand-up or you take a clip from your favorite tv show your favorite drama and similar uh do that and i just think that it's short it's very short-term thinking that people are just like i'm only on facebook i'm only on instagram and uh, it's fine to have maybe have one true love, YouTube, you're my true love, <laughs> but you can still experiment with the other platforms. And I think that that's just gonna force you to become more creative too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make you step up your YouTube game if you're doing Musical.ly, because you're gonna start thinking of those short little 15 minute lip synky type ideas, and maybe you can port some of that over into your YouTube. So it's kind of a full-time job, but uh, <laughs> yeah. what's this behind yeah, us? Yeah, so one, I just recently finished an audio book uh, called Scrum, and it's on the Scrum management uh, system, and I'm all about it now that I understood it. I've kind of seen it on TV shows like um, Silicon Valley. It, it's frequently showcased there, and so uh, Scrum, I think, kind of natively came up through software development as well as engineering tasks. But the idea of what, the way we're implementing it for our real estate, or in this case, our YouTube business, is simply you break down into four columns. That's what we did here. You got your project or your storyboard. And so this is kind of the overarching thing you're trying to accomplish. Then you're going to break that down into the small tasks. And we're focused on one week sprints. So everything here can be done within one week. This is mainly video ideas. So these are video ideas that we can script, write, and then shoot all in one week. Then once you commit to start doing it, you bring it over to the in progress, and that's when you're actually going to get it done in that one week. And once you're done, you throw it over to done. And what I really like about the idea of Scrum is it's just it's really easy for us to come up with like maybe a neat or novel idea for our YouTube channel, but it disappears into the ether if we don't write it down. But maybe you write it down on a piece of scrap paper, but then like you forget which notebook it's in. I I have multiple notebooks at all times, yeah. and. Uh, Again, it's just a great way to stay organized and be more accountable. You, I honestly don't think you can ever be too accountable. And so I highly recommend you check out the audiobook Scrum. It's on Audible if you're interested. So yeah, and this one's mine right here. And so on YouTube, you can only see right here. But, you know, tomorrow I should have a video coming out with Lindsay and Alexandra. And we also got something coming out with the Simpsons properties right now. With so yeah, Mike Simpson, yeah. So that's like what we have actively. This is all the ideas. They eventually get shipped yeah. over here and they eventually get done. And then because, yeah, like Matt said, we always come up with ideas. That's great. Mm -hmm. We should do this. We should host this meetup. We should do that. We should do OREC. And then it's. Yeah. And so, like, we started you know, planning it for OREC 2019. Yeah. So I already tentatively have the venue and the date. Uh, our walkthrough? Uh, next Tuesday or this Tuesday. And uh, same with, we're trying to break out the Vegas conference on that as well. It's just a really great way to map out all the different little aspects that you're going to need to accomplish. And I'm really excited for, I really think this is going to result in our business, hopefully 10xing. So. Mm -hmm.
Um, yeah, that, that was kind of a lot of the knowledge dump I wanted to do on you guys. Yeah, we just wanted to go live, catch up a bit, tell you guys what we're doing. This is how we're going to keep organized. We have our videographers that are sending us messages to tell us where to shift it. Yeah. Yeah, it really keeps us in check right now because it's hard. It's, there's so much going on. Yeah, and just because we're constantly trying to say yes. So, like, one of the big focuses we're also doing right now is focusing on saying yes to more collaborations and trying to force collaborations to occur. So if there's a YouTuber or a podcast that you like that you think we should try and be guests on or that we should have to be guests on our channel, or ideally both, let us know in the comments or slide into our DMs. If you're a content creator and you've got your own YouTube channel or your own podcast, hit us up and let's see if we can maybe make something work because we just want to be omnipresent. Like Grant Cardone really drilled it in to us when we were at the 10X conference, if they don't know you, they can't flow you. And the idea there is, if people don't know you exist, how can they do business with you? And that feels so true, that feels so authentic to me that uh, mm -hmm. I just, I can't argue against it, so I have to lean into it. Well, and we went to Owen Sound last week, we went to Toronto, we went to Kitchener, so you're seeing those videos coming out on the channel right now. Yeah. Next week, we're off to Hamilton, St. Catharines area, we're gonna go check out uh, an off-market property there. We'll probably go to Niagara Falls and Vlog yeah. it a little bit and yeah, it's just exciting. So if you guys are any creators out there, any influencers in southwestern Ontario, anywhere really, hit us up and we will see. So yeah. The other thing I've been doing is a bit of coaching calls right now. It's oh yeah. Been, uh, interesting to do it. I'm eventually gonna monetize it, but at the moment it's good practice, like teaching young realtors across North America tips and tricks. So if you got any questions, hit me up in the DMs. I'm usually just like giving out all my information for free. However, it's eventually tying me up in my normal job selling houses that I need to mm -hmm. start to monetize it. And, and we'll tease that we have some courses coming. Yeah, up. and so actually talking about the courses, one thing I kind of want to mention to you guys, uh, recently I've been getting a lot of more DMs on Instagram than I'm used to. I, it takes me sometimes a while to respond, but I will respond eventually. But a lot of you have been asking how you can help me out or how you can help us out. And I hadn't really thought about it until this morning, but one of the ways that if you're interested in helping us out is we want to launch some of these courses and we're way too lazy to write out the scripts. So if you're willing to transcribe our, our courses for us, maybe there's a win-win there where we can give you early access, free access to our courses, and what you need to do is literally write out what's being talked about in that video. So if you're interested in that, slide into my DMs. I won't make Jeff have to go through that hassle, but uh, yeah, we're really excited. Uh, we're gonna be releasing um, all the main stage footage from OREC as a course that will be up on Teachable in the near future so you guys can look forward to that. We got a grind and deal and wholesaling course as well as Jeff's coming out with a realtor course. And, so. and I think the OREC footage, if you buy that, we're going to... No, so we're going to do OREC 2019 next week. I plan on announcing it officially and we're going to do a pre-sale. We're going to limit it to the first 50 tickets. We'll get you a free access to all the main stage footage from OREC 2018. So whether you were there and you just forgot because it's been a few months, whether you couldn't make it, whether you were too cheap and you uh, shot yourself in the foot, <laughs> this is your opportunity to potentially get and absorb a lot of the content. It's taken me forever to upload it. There's a lot of footage. I think that it's over 14 hours of footage. And honestly, I think it's all gold. I think it. We, all of our speakers really brought their A game. They really shared and just gave, gave, gave. Yeah. So I'm really excited to be offering that to you guys. So yeah, we're going to announce a pre-sale for OREC 2019. We'll announce the date, the location, and the first 50 people to uh, uh, sign up and get their tickets. We'll give you free access to that teachable course. And I'm not exactly positive how I'm going to figure that out yet, but I'll make it work. And we always so, do. Yeah. So I think that's... Yeah, that's good. We just want to go on live quickly, catch, catch up, show you guys what we're up to yeah. on the scrum board. And if you're watching us on YouTube, channel. smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to Jeff. Also, jump over to my channel if you don't know who I am, Matt McKeever. And 11, Instagram, subscribers. I haven't been going live nearly enough with you guys, so I'll try and up that game. Also, I'm going to go live on my YouTube channel later tonight. Let's say tentatively 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, guys. Yep, thank you, guys. Bye.